all right what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel and for today's video i have something very cool and unique to show you so if you have a boosted car or even just a specific lancer rally like i do you might want to stay tuned and if you're new here consider subscribing because i have a lot of car content coming up here in the near future and i like to take my family and do some vlog type stuff so without further ado let's hop on in and show you guys what i got All right, but before I dive deep into this video, I do want to say thank you for Mr. Joel over at IDo3DPrints.com. He actually sent me, contacted me through emails and stuff like that, but he actually sent me something very unique and special, which I'm about to show you guys in a second. So here is his business card. I don't know if that's inverted or not on my camera, but I will also leave it down in the description below. So go ahead and check him out as soon as you guys see this video. Um, it'll help him out loads. But... And also help you guys out as well. So what I'm about to show you is something that's related to boost gauges. Something for those turbo guys who want to know what their peaks are and stuff like that. When I track everything, make sure everything's running smoothly. Um, so that's the basic use of a boost gauge, you know what I mean? This is what he ended up shipping off to me. This guy right here it is a boost gauge uh, holder, I guess you can call it. It is 3D printed. It's pretty sturdy and everything looks to fit nicely you guys can get a better view of it so i personally like this one because unlike the other ones that block up your clusters up here this is kind of out of the way um, i'm a fan of the caterpillar i'm a ricer by heart <laughs> but this is very this is very good too because it basically sits right there and you can see it clear as day when you're driving so if this is something that you guys want a stock look to it this is a very good way to go. Very easy install as well. I'll leave his video on how he installed this uh, down in the description below as well. But it's really just removing this, taking the old vent out, and putting this guy in. Very easy process. Took me like five minutes to do. So if you guys want something that's uh, a little stock looking, and believe me, if you have a turbo car, you might want to be running boost gauges. That way you can track uh, everything that's happening with your car. Basically like the heart monitor. But, um, yeah, this is a short little video, guys, for you guys. Uh, another shout-out to Joel. Uh, massive respect. Thanks for hitting me up and uh, working this out for me. So, hopefully this video can help you out as well. And you viewers out there who are looking for something a little bit different from the original Caterpillar look or the clusters in the steering column. But, uh, yeah, that's all I really got for you guys today. Once again, go ahead and check out Joel's page or his website down below. And uh, thanks again for watching. This is definitely something that I can see myself using. Um, obviously, I'm not going to keep it here just because I don't have any boost gauges at the moment. But when I do, I'll go ahead and run this, run this around. But I might end up doing the Caterpillar just because that's more my style. But um, once again, this is a pretty unique uh, option for you guys. The only downfall I could foresee happening is it's 3D printed. So I don't know if the heat if you use the heater if that'll melt this at all or anything but i don't think so it's pretty sturdy pretty dang sturdy but it does match everything else that's in this car so it looks very stockish i'm pretty impressed so good work on that joel and uh one last note is uh, i'm aware that this is in the vent so you guys will lose some air but actually you can still get some air around this as you can see but uh, if you're somewhere where it's really hot and you guys prefer your AC like I do, <laughs> um, maybe you might not want this, but at the same time, this is somewhere on the side where you don't really get that much air anyways. It blows on, what, your hand? So just something to think about. Um, pricing and stuff like that, go ahead and check out on his webpage and uh, go ahead and give that guy some love, all right? So until next time, I want to say thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Um, keep in mind, I will be probably doing a giveaway as soon as I get my stuff back from storage because I'm currently in a move process. But once I get all my uh, stuff back, expect a giveaway to follow. So once I hit 4,000 subscribers, I'll definitely go ahead and uh, throw, it, throw you guys some, throw you a little bone for a stick with me. <laughs> all right, so until next time, I wanna say thanks for watching. Never live your life on idle, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Another update. I think it's time to say goodbye to my poor banner. As soon as I moved to Cat or as soon as I moved from California to Florida, it's been getting beat up and weathered away. So looks like it's time for this guy to go bye-byes. 
did me good. It did me really good. I'm just really impressed. So, I think it's time to go buy a new one. Oh. Oh, he's gonna love me.